Christians in these what may very well be these last days um, where men become lovers of themselves, idolatry runs rampant, homosexuality has become legal, bestiality is legal in Canada. These all go against God's commandments and more. It's really time, if you haven't done so already, to repent. And I know, as I'm a born-again Christian of um, over 40 years, and um, baptized, washed clean by the blood of Jesus, and I repent daily for my sins. Probably not a day goes by where I don't uh, say the wrong thing. And um, Matthew... I think chapter 12 says we will be accountable for every idle word that we say. Um, so definitely stay in prayer. Um, if you don't understand what you're reading in the Bible, pray to God for discernment and he will give it to you. Um, another scripture, um, I don't have the book or verse in front of me, is um, trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Lean not on your own understanding. Acknowledge him in all your ways, and he shall direct your paths. I may have transposed the lean not and the acknowledge him. But anyway, it's a proverb, one of my favorite. And, um, and another one, be still and know that I am God. With God, are, all things are possible. So put your trust there, not in false doctrines of man, not in new age theories, not in transhumanism or whatever that is. It all comes back to the Bible and it says that a good tree cannot bear bad fruit and a bad tree cannot bear good fruit and will be hewn down and thrown into the fire. And I think literally that means the lake of fire. I think we are in a crisis right now of spiritual corruption and spiritual bankruptcy here in the United States of America. So I'm calling all Christians to get back on board, um, evangelize, Go out, evangelize, not just on YouTube, one-on-one, -on -one. Um, saving another soul, covers a multitude of sins. I forgot what book and verse that is too, but forgive, it's also a time to forgive. If Jesus was able to forgive those that crucified him, we must also learn to forgive. It's not going to get any easier. And the only solace is in the Lord. So I say, go back to your Bibles and prayer and fasting if you need. I fast sometimes too. In the name of Jesus Christ, I plead the blood of Jesus over this video. I am a targeted individual of organized gang stalking by first responders, and they are in my technology. So, <clears throat> they violated my safety of my home. So, they can't say that that's a good tree. It's rotten. Anyway, this is my best advice to you. I believe that the persecution of Christians has become more overt. Strengthen your faith. Don't lose it. Amen.